Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a very late update for my deck of panning project. I've skipped a few months and technically now I'm early for the June update, but it's after, it's the 11th when I'm filming this, so the board has already been shuffled for June, so this will be my June update, I guess. I only have one product to roll out. I'm not doing super well on this project this year because I have also my Pando's eyeshadows project and my whole collection project and that's a lot of projects to be working on for somebody that doesn't wear makeup every day. So this won't, this won't be too exciting probably but I felt like I should probably do an update for this since I do have something to roll out. So the first thing that is staying in is my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. If you saw my my Shop My Stash video, I think, I was saying like how I was gonna put this back in my collection because I thought it was in my Shop My Stash. I forgot that it was in this project and I have a 10 use goal on this and I've only used it five times. Um, I have realized that I love this highlighter. I'm wearing it today. I think it's one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. I don't like this blush very much though. It's very subtle and not very pigmented at all. So yeah, maybe I'm just not applying it correctly, but it's not my favorite cream blush from Natasha Denona. The eyeshadows I've only used once or twice um but these are shades that i really like so next time i use this i'll probably do an eyeshadow look just to remind myself the formula of these but yeah i still have five uses to go on this so it's gonna stay in this project my eloise the queen eyeshadow palette is staying in I have a five use goal on this. I've only used it twice still. I think that's how many uses I had last update too. But I have so many eyeshadow um, palettes in rotation right now. So this one has just not been rolled. Actually what I've been doing lately when I wear eyeshadow is I roll for which palette to use because there's so many. There's 21 in my rotation right now and it's overwhelming like which one to choose so I just roll for it. <laughs> so this one has just not been rolled but yeah, I don't mind continuing to use it. I did like both looks that I did with it but one of the looks I did I felt like didn't wear well like the shades kind of all melted together so I need to use this some more and see if it's something I'll be keeping in my collection. Oh, every time I film this video, I forget to tell you the prompts. So the Natasha Denona palette, this was rolled in for the prompt this time last year because I bought this at the time that I rolled this in. I had bought this at the same time the year before. Hopefully I explained that correctly. The eyeshadow palette was for the prompt Indie because this is an indie brand, Eloise. The next product that is staying in, I rolled for the prompt to focus and I want to focus on using cream blushes this year. So I rolled the Maybelline Cheek Heat blush in the shade Coral Ember. And at first I was like, I don't like this. It's just waiting for the plane to drive to go by. At first I didn't like this because I felt it was so sheer and I would apply like so much and it would barely show up but I found a way to use this with my Sephora it's actually a foundation brush I think I explained this last time too but in case you are new here I use this brush the number 47 from Sephora which is a great brush for cream blushes that you want to show up more because it like really packs them on and doesn't buff them out too much so yeah these two together I've really been liking and I like to use this 
I, even on like no makeup days so it's fine that it's still in this project I've actually used it seven of the ten times so this might be rolled out next update if I can keep up <laughs> on my updates um, for the prompt metallic I rolled in this Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo in the shade Lottie. I've only used this once, but I have a five use goal because I knew like I wouldn't wear this very often because it is like a um, a cream eyeshadow. One side is the metallic side and it's very dry as you can see. If I had like um, that Inglot Jerline product, I could probably revive it, but I don't, so yeah, I don't know how long this will last. And then the other side is a, like a very flaky glitter that you apply with, well, it's like a spatula, I'll just show you. And you kind of have to be careful that you don't get it everywhere, but I do really like the shade of this. Um, I have five of these, which is why I rolled this into this project, but I do need to use it four more times. And the last thing that is still in this project, well, I don't know why I said it like that, because I think I just rolled this in last time. For, again, I got the prompt Indie, so I rolled in my Odin's Eye Matte Lip Stain in the shade Red Papaya. I really like the shade of this. Um, matte lip products are not my favorite, um, but this one is, the formula is like preferable to a lot of other, um, liquid lipsticks that I had in my collection, so I don't mind, and I really like the shade of this, so it's fine to keep it in. I feel like it's more like a fall shade, but yeah, it's really pretty and unique. I'll just swatch it, actually. It's like burnt orange and it's flattering on my skin tone so yeah I only have a five use goal on this but I've only used it once so four more uses to go so the product I'm rolling out is my ABH kiss lipstick this was rolled in for the prompt random uses so I rolled a number I think between 1 and 10 because I knew like I wasn't going to do like a 50 use goal on anything. So I ended up rolling six. So I've used this six times and I ended up really liking it. It's just a nice like pinky nude shade. And yeah, I did not mind using this at all. So, but I am going to roll it out because I reached my goal on this. So I'm going to choose one card to replace that product and then we'll see if it's not like exciting enough, then I'll pick another card. So I'm gonna pull up the game board on my screen. I did not do a good job of an intro in this video. <laughs> I forgot to mention that this project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I always leave all the information below, but I feel like no one reads the description box, so I should probably mention it in the video also. Um, she was inspired by Books with Maddie to create this project. Books with Maddie is a booktuber that does like a similar project but with books so that she chooses her books that she wants to read. So it's just really fun and you use a deck of cards. That's why it's called Deck of Panning. And Emily has prepared a game board that goes along with the cards. So. I'm sure you already know this if you're watching this video, but just in case. <laughs> and I always leave the game board below as well if you want to look at it, but it does change every month after the 10th of the month. So I already shuffled my cards off camera because I'm terrible at shuffling and I didn't want to have to edit out that part. <laughs> so I'm going to pick a card from the top and I did pull out one of the jokers because there's two jokers in this deck and if you get the joker you have to pick a product that you really don't want to pan so hopefully I don't get the joker but let's choose the first card four of hearts 
right? Yes. These are um, Dragon Ball Z cards, by the way. <laughs> In case you're like, what the heck is that? Four of Hearts is for the prompt influenced. That's going to be so easy because everything I own was probably influenced <laughs> by somebody on YouTube. But yeah, I'll have to think what what's a product that I should pull in to work on. Influenced. Did I do another one? How many products am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to pull another card just for fun and because I skipped so many updates. Hopefully it's not going to backfire on me. <laughs> so my last card is the Ace of Diamonds. Oh no. <laughs> Ace of Diamonds is add another product. Because any of the red aces, so hearts or diamonds, is add another product. So, okay. I always get confused. I have to choose two more cards now. Right? <laughs> Three of spades. Double ended or a duo product. Okay, I already have one of those in this project, but that's fine. I actually know um, exactly what I want to choose for that, I think. And then my last one, hopefully, don't jinx myself. Seven of Diamonds? Yes. Seven of Diamonds. A blush. Okay. I have so many blushes to work on. I just filmed my whole collection video and I'm at my cap on blushes in that project too. But that's fine because I have so many blushes and I like to use different blushes all the time. And I do only have what did I say? Three uses left on this one, so I will choose another blush. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my three products now and I will be back to show you what those are. Okay, I have my products. That was pretty easy actually. So for the Four of Hearts Influenced, I chose my Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the shade Power Boost because I was definitely influenced to buy this. Everybody was raving about these when they first launched and I haven't used this yet. So yeah, plus I I really thought about this one and like what what are things that I'm not already working on too many of and I only have one one bronzer? Yeah, I'm only working on one bronzer right now and it's a powder so I definitely can pull this in. This is the shade Power Boost. I think I just said that. It looks quite neutral so maybe I'd even use this as like a cream contour. We'll have to see but I am excited about this. I haven't used many cream bronzers especially in like a stick format. So yeah, I'm happy about my choice on this one. Um, then for the three of spades, right? Yeah, the double-ended or duo. Um, I knew right away I wanted to pull this in. This is a lipstick from Wander Beauty and I've never used it. <laughs> and it is double-ended, so on one side, oh dear, that is getting, um, wax blooming or whatever if you can see that there's like beads but i think it's fine it doesn't smell weird but one side is the shade bb i guess oh, i hope this is still usable yeah so one side is this like pink shade and the other i think is even more like a vibrant pink this one here, this is the shade Nikki Beach. 
And I think the idea is like you can wear them together. Like you can put the deeper one on first and then the lighter one in the middle, like the more vibrant one. I don't know. Or maybe it's just to have two different colors in one tube, but they're actually kind of similar. <laughs> One is just like more of a neutral pink and the other is more like a fuchsia. But I think this is a good time of year to wear a shade like this. And yeah, um, I need to get some more use on my bullet lipsticks and this will be like a two in one. So that's fun. The last thing was for the Comte blush. The Seven of Diamonds, yeah. And I rolled for a blush randomly and I got my Hourglass Dim Infusion, which is good because I've never used this. I got this in a boxy charm. It's a full size Hourglass blush, which is pretty expensive. And it's just like a nice, um, like neutral pink. It's very light. So... But the thing with Hourglass blushes is they swatch horrendously, but there's something about them that just brings like life to your face because they're like mixed with those like, I don't know, shiny powder or whatever. Um, I really like my other blush from Hourglass, the Mood Exposure. It's one of my favorites, so I hope I like this too, and I hope it looks more like blushy on my face <laughs> than it does in a swatch but um yeah I'm gonna do I didn't say use goals I think I'm gonna do 10 uses on each of these things yeah so next time next update if I can get back on track I will probably roll out my Maybelline cheek heat and I don't know, maybe my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, but otherwise everything else <laughs> I need to be working on. So yeah, but that's exciting. I like having new things to work on and like refreshing this project um, when I can. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you're doing the deck of panning, let me know below. I like to watch other people's updates as well. And yeah, that's everything. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!